Hi, this is Larry. I would like to just show you how to create a folder in Google Drive. You can get to Google Drive from your Gmail account. Simply go up to your right hand side of your screen. You see this little grid of box. Click on that and that will drop down to show you different apps. These aren't all the apps that are available from Google. Just click on the Drive symbol and the word says Drive it will open up a new tab to take you to your Google Drive. Google Drive is like a hard drive in the cloud, which means you don't have to carry around flash drives or use CDs or any other kind of storage device to, between different devices. As long as you have a browser such as Google Chrome or Firefox or Safari, you should be able to go out on any device and be able to access your files uh, from any device that has internet service. So basically, your drive then can be set up and you can have different folders. Example here, my drive. In this one, I have a lot of different folders. And you can have subfolders based on that. Uh, you can see a lot of different subfolders appearing, etc. And you can keep uh, putting folders out there as well as files. Now, if you wanted to create a new folder, want to create a new folder, what would you click? Over here on the left, something big and red, it says new. Click on that. It gives you an option to create several different things. All I want to show you right now is how to create a folder. Simply click on New, click on Folder, and then give it a name. For the My Classes and most other work that you do in classes, it's always good to have a folder for each class where you store all your work. And what you want to do is give it your last name first. And the reason why you're going to give it your last name is because you're going to share it with me and I know who this folder belongs to. So what I'm going to do is use my last name and then you're going to give it the class number. In this case, I'm going to use IT107. And in the instructions may tell you what specifically and how to name the folder, depending on your classes. But in this case, some of them will have your name, your last name, your course number, and then also maybe the campus you're attending for this course, and then maybe the semester you're in. In this case, it's spring 2015. When you're done getting that information in, you simply hit the blue Create. And voila, you can see it appear in front of you inside of my drive on Google Drive. There is my new folder. It's also listed over here on the left. So I have created a new folder for you to use for your class at MATC.